The technology within film is so amazing. You look at Super 16 now, the quality of Super 16 is so fantastic that, you know, you know, the grain structure is so tight and everything that you can do things with Super 16 now that you couldn't do, you know, 10, 15 years ago. We shot The Wrestler on Vision 3 16. Um, and we actually did something pretty cool. It's, it's uh, we did a widescreen format on 16. So, you know, we have a two, three, five frame out of that 16. So we really took a tiny box out of the frame. The wrestler is really about landscape and it's about where Mickey Rourke's character is in that landscape. So I really wanted to get, capture New Jersey with as wide a lens as I could. You know, we were nervous at first about shooting the 235 lens because of grain and issues like that. Unfortunately, I didn't get as much grain as I wanted because the stock was so clean. Even this last documentary that I did for Spike when levees broke, which, you know, nowadays, a film like that would be shot on video, but Spike shot 80% of it on film. You know, and we shot not only the interviews, but we shot a lot of the B-roll material, Super 16. He loves the look, you know, he's, he's, he's committed to the look, the film look, you know, and even the other documentary, he's committed to the film look, so he wanted that texture. We did The Last King of Scotland, which was Super 16, captured that, put to scope, which no one really thought it would hold up before. It's always a great um, uh, reference to go back to when people ask that question, because people just can't believe you can take that tiny amount of negative and, and project a scope image. I think 16 millimeter has changed so much that there are a lot of people who have an old conception of what it what it is. I'm amazed when I see good 16 to 35 blow-ups at this point. When I see good 16 to 35 blow-ups at this point. 